If you've tried to make a ribbon brush in Clip Studio Paint, did you run into this problem? Or worse, this one? Hi there, my name's Sarah, and this video is going to show you how to get those ribbon brushes to actually work. I'll show you how to make this vine brush, and also how to fix some of the CSP brushes that don't quite work out of the box. There are three critical things to know when making brush tips for ribbon brushes. First, your brush tip needs to seamlessly connect top to bottom. Second, if you're using multiple brush tips, they must all be the same width. This is trickier than it sounds, but I'll get to that. And third, you need to have post correction on to make the brush work smoothly. For the vine brush, I'm going to use three brush tips, but you can make as many or as few as you want. Seriously, I added over 20 and the program didn't stop me, so go nuts. But let's just do the first one to start with. I find that short, wide tips work best for ribbon brushes, so I'll go to File, New, and create a 1200 pixel by 600 pixel canvas. I'll also set the default expression color to gray, which ensures the brush uses colors properly. See my other brush tip videos for more details. I'll start with the main stem, which is the part that must seamlessly tile top to bottom. Draw two short lines in the middle of the canvas, like so. I explain making seamless patterns in another video, link in the description, but here's the quick version. Use Ctrl A to select the whole canvas. Right click on the layer and select Convert Layer. Change the type to Image Material Layer then hit OK. You can now deselect the canvas with Ctrl D. Go to the Operation tool and the Object subtool. Scroll down the properties and check Tiling. Drag your layer up and notice it's wrapped around to the bottom. Right click on your layer and select Rasterize. Now the top and bottom align perfectly, so I'm going to make a copy of this layer to use for our other brush tips later. For now, I'll hide it to get it out of the way. As long as the ends line up, I can draw anything I want in the middle. I'll keep the stem fairly straight and add some leaves. When I'm done, I'll go ahead and make this into a brush tip. I like to make a copy of an existing brush with similar settings. In this case, I'll select the Decoration tool and go to the Clothing tab, which has several ribbon brush examples. I'll click on Chain, then click Create Copy of Currently Selected Subtool. I'll give my new brush a name and select the more appropriate icon, then click OK. Click the wrench to open the Subtool Detail palette. Go to Brush Tip. One thing to notice is the chain's brush tip is actually horizontal and has its angle set to 90 degrees. When I click here and replace it with my vine brush tip, it'll be sideways. To fix that, simply reset the angle to zero. You may have encountered ribbon brushes, even the built-in ones in CSP that are janky for lack of a better word. The trick to making them work is post-correction, found in the Subtool Detail palette under Correction, here. Enable post-correction and try out the different settings. A setting of three or four is usually a nice balance between a smooth brush and not smoothing out the corners too much. Different amounts of correction work better for different brushes. For example, my vine brush at 3 is still a little weird. Because of the detail, a value of 4 or even 5 works better. Ribbon brushes work by squashing the part of the brush on the inside of a curve and stretching it on the outside, so they don't do great with tight curves anyway. Let's add a second brush tip. Don't follow along here because I'm going to show you the wrong way to do it first. You'd think you could just draw a second brush tip the same way as the first. After all, they line up here, right? But when I add this to my brush, they don't line up. Why? 
The way CSP applies brush tips removes any transparency. That means this brush is actually this wide, whereas this brush is this wide instead. Fortunately, I've got a trick for that. Make a new layer. Using a one pixel size pen, make a tiny mark on the very left and the very right of the canvas. Reduce this layer's opacity to 1%. This is basically invisible to us, but it'll fool the program into thinking both brush tips take up the entire space. I'll duplicate this fixed layer, then merge it with my first brush tip. I'll repeat this, merging it with my second brush tip. Finally, I'll merge the remaining fixed layer with my final brush tip layer, which I'll go ahead and draw now. Now I can register these fixed layers as new brush tips. Go to the ribbon brush and remove the existing brush tips, replacing them with the newly fixed ones. Note that you can shift click and select to add multiple brush tips at once. And now our brush works like we'd expect. It's a little hacky, but it works. Let me know in the comments if you know about her fix, though. Now you know how to make a ribbon brush in Clip Studio Paint. Of course, you can combine it with some of the tricks I talk about in my other videos to apply colors and more. Be sure to check out my Clip Studio Brush Tips playlist for more ideas, and tag me at Ms. Red Nebula on socials if you want to show off the brushes you made. Bye for now.